and, uh, but it hasn't got, got quite that same razzmatazz of uh, when you have it posted in India. You see these fanatical crowds and there's noise. And I'll turn it around. Yeah. So, um, we did dream about it, we can also look at this book. Yeah, okay. Exactly right, what colours? So on Saturday, this will, this will come out as your signing table? Yeah. So you'll be in here. Uh, sledging's not going to worry about Coley. It, it doesn't work against the great players, and um, you're better off leaving those guys alone. I think um, any extra motivation will, will make them dig in more and get more runs, so you're better off not saying much to him, but he's a um, world-class player. He will, he'll want to be the batsman of the series. Last time he and Smith um, came up against each other in India, Smith really dominated. He got 300s and scored 400 runs, and Coley didn't get many, so that'll be in the back of his mind that last time they came together, he was outscored by Steve Smith. So. He'll want to um, score a lot of runs, and if he does, India will have a good chance of winning. He's definitely matured. I mean, he's always been excitable on the field, probably a little bit maybe um, not in control, but now he's totally in control, and he's um, got the team playing in his, his mode and his method and, he, and his, um, his, his vein. So they're, they're an aggressive team. They, they believe in themselves, and they think they can win in any conditions, which is, which is a great thing for world cricket. He wants India to prove themselves away from home, to, um, to justify the number one ranking. So um, he's taking them to a level that maybe they didn't think they could get to before. This is a big series for Justin and the team. He'll want to, um, they'll want to prove that they're the best test team in the world. They've got the number one in the one-day side, ranking side of things as well. So it's been a, a pretty amazing 18 months, two years since Justin took over from South Africa. So they've made huge strides on and off the field and he'll just want to continue that. You want to see them continually improve and not be satisfied with where they're at. Oh, look, there's world-class players on both teams. Um, yeah, Boomer, I think, for India will do well. Um, he's quick and he's got resilience and he surprised a lot of players, so he'll be a key, um, key bowler. I think Kohli will obviously score a lot of runs. Um, I think Rahani is someone that's underrated in the Indian lineup, and I think he'll score runs in Australia. From the Australian team point of view, um, you know, you, you want your openers to get, get off to a good start. And if we can get 300 runs in the first innings every time we bat, we're going to be a chance of winning test matches. But um, you know, Pat Cummins has been outstanding in the last couple of years. Again, he'll lead the attack. Uh, Batting-wise, um, you know, there's, we've got a solid lineup. But um, if Labuschagne continues his form, then he really adds another dimension to our batting.